IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, I'm Ian Cull, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on asbestos. Asbestos is a collective term given to fibrous minerals that occur naturally and have been used widely in commercial products. The term asbestos is a commercial or generic name, not a mineralogical definition. Asbestos was and still is used in commercial products because of its unique properties. Asbestos is resistant to many things, heat, fire, wear, friction, chemicals, and microorganisms. At the peak of demand, about 3,000 products were listed for containing asbestos. Why all the concern over asbestos? Asbestos is made up of small microscopic fibers that can affect human health. Diseases associated with asbestos include lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. The greatest concern is when fibers become friable and airborne, leading to an inhalation exposure. Exposures may occur when an asbestos-containing material is cut, sanded, demolished, removed, or disintegrated. Although many uses have been banned in the United States, it's still found in some products that are imported. If you're doing renovation or demolition of materials that may contain asbestos, you'll need to comply with state regulations. If you're a home or building owner looking for a professional to inspect or remove asbestos, you'll want to find someone who's licensed by your state. Beyond that, Check to see if the licensee is also a member of the Indoor Air Quality Association to ensure you get a well-rounded professional. Visit iaqa.org and click on the Find a Pro button in the upper right-hand corner.